Far Cry 6 was released late last year, but I've just played and beaten it recently when I bought it for half off. As a general summary, the story focuses on the main character, Danny Rojas, an orphan living in the island nation of Yara, controlled by the dictator Anton Castillo. The story begins with their escape out of the capital city of Esperanza, along with their friend Lita Torres, after their other friend Alejo Ruiz, Alejo Ruiz is shot and killed by an FND officer. Danny and Lita sneak past several guards and board a fishing vessel along with several other refugees trying to escape to America. Unfortunately, the boat is sunk and most of the refugees die right there. Lita and Danny make it to the shore, but Lita is badly injured and dies on the beach. Danny follows a path lined with blue flowers to the base of the main protagonist faction in this game, Libertad, where they meet Clara. They sign up, mainly to get a boat to leave for Miami, but decide to stay and fight with Libertad to overthrow Castillo's oppressive regime. Of course, this is optional, and one mission you can absolutely leave using a boat and get a secret ending without fighting for Libertad. Anyway, Danny must liberate several regions of Yara by assisting a group in each one. They must help the Montero family in Madrugada, Maximas Montanzas in Valle de Oro, and the Legends of 67 with La Morale's help in El Este. In each region, one or two of Castillo's henchmen must be killed to liberate the area. Once Danny frees all of the regions, he must fate Castillo himself in his capital city, Esperanza. In the ending, Castillo murders his son Diego and slits his own throat. Then he leaves the opportunity of running Yara to the other families slash groups. Anyway, let's get to the review. I had a lot of fun playing through Far Cry 6, and the story was engaging and interesting to go through. However, I do have some complaints. I don't really like the removal of guns for hire slash specialists and replacing them with animals. Don't get me wrong, I love Guapo as much as any other gamer but it doesn't really replace rolling around with Nick Rye and Adelaide Drummond in the sky decimating everything with bombs and bullets. I think Far Cry 5 had it right with the specialists. Also, I really wish they had re-implemented the healing features from Far Cry 3 and 4. What I mean is, those games had the feature to heal a small amount of health if you didn't have any medical packs as much as you wanted. In Far Cry 6, you have to wait to heal yourself at all. There aren't even any health packs. You must have to wait to stick a cigar in your arm or chug some pills. To be fair, it is a bit better than Far Cry 5's way of doing things where you couldn't heal without a health pack. Another complaint, albeit a minor one, is the way your character is shifted to a third-person viewing angle in the camps and you can't even jump in them. This one's not really a complaint, but I sort of wish they brought back the radio tower slash bell towers from Far Cry 3 and 4 to clear the fog of war on the map. It's just a, sort of annoying to have to walk everywhere to fill it in, but that's just sort of a me thing. Overall, though, game was a pretty stellar. Game was pretty stellar when it comes to the story, the fighting, and the driving. One really big compliment I absolutely have to give is the addition of drivable tanks. Those things are really fucking fun to drive around and destroy shit in. The Supremos are great fun too. I've only used the missile launcher backpack one that's called Exterminator but it's great for taking out helicopters or tanks. The unique weapon things are cool too, like the revolver shotgun pistol with shield combo. It's awesome to clear buildings with. The music is pretty spot on as well. I don't speak Spanish, but some of the songs are pretty good. Camino Revolucion, Revolucion, Revolucionario, I think is how you pronounce it, is probably my favorite. It has a nice flow and great beat. Had a lot of fun fighting FND forces at Maria Marquesa's house during the Maximus Matanzas concert. It reminded me of Sharky's mission in Far Cry 5 at the trailer park, or the one in New Dawn at his camp. Back to some complaints, though. The removal of the perk tree really bugs me, because it's always been there in all the Far Cry games I've played, all except 1 and 2. This one is Far Cry 4's. I kind of think the gear feature is there to replace it, with each piece giving more healing power, blast defense, etc. However, I really miss it. All the shortcomings of this game are pretty much made up for by the fun gameplay and awesome vehicles with the incredible story, though. All in all, Far Cry 6 is a solid game that I would recommend to any current fan of the Far Cry series or fans of open-world shooters in general. 
Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Like if you like the video.